everyone, it's Rachel, and today I will be doing a video about my advice for high school. I'm going into my second year of college, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, and this is just the advice that I came up with. I have nine tips for you guys, so I'll get started. Number one, stay focused on your studies. So, you're there to learn, essentially. You are there to make friends, you know, develop social skills, further your hobbies and interests or whatnot, but you are mostly there to learn, and don't forget that. So just remember to stay focused on your studies. Two, but also don't forget to have fun. Uh, you don't want to be that person that just spends all of their time studying, because that person, let me tell you, I was that person um, for part of the time, my freshman year, and you don't, I mean, you have fun, but you don't, you know, you're stressed more of the time. So just make sure that you don't uh, don't forget to have fun, go hang out with people and whatnot. Three, get in the habit of working ahead. If a teacher assigns you a paper or a, like a big assignment or a project or something, and it's due like a week or two in, in advance, the day you get that project, you should start working on it because otherwise you will put it off and you don't want to get in the habit of slacking off because once you get into college, if you're going to college, you will have a very hard time getting in the habit of doing your stuff beforehand because it is very difficult to do things at the last minute, even at the high school level, but it's very difficult at the college level. So just make sure you get in the habit of working ahead. Number four, don't sweat the SATs too much. I know this is probably, this probably goes against everything that everyone's ever heard, but do not stress the SATs too much. Research has shown that colleges, they do take your SAT scores into account, so don't blow them off, but they aren't everything. They look at things such as extracurricular activities, your essays, they look at your grades uh, just to see the type of student that you are. They do look at your SAT scores, but they aren't weighed as heavily, typically, it depends on the college, um, as everyone seems to put emphasis on. <laughs> Number five, get involved in something you are passionate about. High school is the perfect time to find out what you want to do, whether that be a hobby or even your career. So you just have to really figure out what you're passionate about and go with it and just be involved and have fun. Number six, it is never too early or too late to look into college or furthering education. You could start looking at colleges your freshman year, or you could even look at colleges your senior year. It is never too early or too late to look into colleges and apply. Number seven, figure out organization techniques for you. Middle school and high school are the perfect times to figure out what works for you, whether that be carrying around a planner and writing everything down in that, writing it on your hand, I don't suggest that, but um, writing it all out on a piece of paper or just taking mental notes, putting it in your phone, whatever works for you, a system that works for you where you won't forget assignments and where you know like, where all your papers are. So just figure out what works for you. Number eight, try to keep a positive attitude and don't get too sucked into the drama of high school. I know high school is dramatic. And there isn't a whole lot you can do about it. Um, but don't get sucked into the petty drama of high school. I know bullying still occurs, and that is terrible. And if that's the case, then you should tell somebody about that. And if you're a bully, don't be a bully. That's not cool. But don't get involved in the petty drama of, like, who is dating who, what's going on that way. Like, it's not worth it in the end. High school is, for most people, four years of your life. Four years of your entire life and that's it. So just don't get too sucked into the drama where you forget everything else and life becomes like one giant soap opera. Number nine, participate. I mean this in class and in society. So participate. Raise your hand if you know the answer, which is something I, I struggle with. Um... Engage in your teachers and your classmates and participate in after school activities, whether that be extracurricular activities through the school or in the community or whatever. Just get yourself out there and participate. 
So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below whether you liked this advice, what I forgot. If you have any questions or any other suggestions for another video, leave it down below. And I will check it out. I will see you in another video. Bye!